Hi and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be turned into uh, 5 8 vertical for 10 meters. Uh, all times to the channel will remember I've, I've made one of these before uh, using this design which we'll come into in a second. It's still in use uh, over two years on in, in the tree uh, down the garden and I'll just put a clip in now. This uh, this design um, is I don't think it's available on the internet anymore. So this this reference here is probably one of the few uh, few left. Uh, there you can see it there. I'll put a link at the top uh, of this video just now. Uh, so that video, if you follow the link, will take you uh, to uh, the original build of this and the explanation of how it works uh, and all the detail of the build. So what I've done, I've I've watched back my own video. I've took a screen print. Uh, of the design. Uh, I've took a few little screenshots just on my own notes to remind me what I'm doing and uh, basically I'm going to build another one. Why am I doing this when I've got one? Well tomorrow uh, there's a 10 meter FM uh, activity here in the UK at the end of April. Uh, I thought I couldn't uh, to participate but I can. This is the day before and I haven't got a 10 meter portable antenna um, so this is uh, this is going to be a hurried build and hopefully this will all magic into a, a really good uh, DX antenna. So if you follow along with me, uh, hopefully you find this useful. And like I say, don't forget the original full build and field trials videos uh, can be followed from the link above. Right, just to explain some constituent parts, I've got uh, some twin core flex. I'm gonna uh, take off the insulation and I just want uh, insulated single strand wire for that, that's fine. Some RG58. Um, a very good uh, coax for this purpose. Uh, a strip of Westflex 103, so that's solid core uh, air spaced uh, VHF UHF coax. Uh, a choke made out of a 43 ferrite uh, PL259. I could do an air wound choke as in the other video, but uh, like I say, I'm going for ferrite this time. So, first things first, I need 3.224 meters of insulated wire. Uh, so this is twin flex, so I just need half of that cutting and then uh, joining together uh, to get that as the final length. The, the fact that half of it's blue and half of it's brown uh, doesn't matter, clearly. So that was quick, so just a case of bearing off the ends uh, and making one long run uh, and cutting it uh, to 3.224. So I've joined the wires together, got it stretched out straight and I'm going for 3.224 uh, is my cut just in the middle of the screen. Right, so we've made that bit. Next bit is this uh, length of RG58. So with it still on the roll, uh, I'm going to start preparing uh, this. So it will look like this. So two two and a half centimetre gap on the braid uh, and a 0 0.6 tip. And that length is 8.6, which is what matches, if I get that in focus, matches what we're doing here. So leave it on the roll because we'll make a quick in a bit. Uh, so that's next. So just a tip, this, this 0.6 tip that we're trying to get, uh, just cut a bear off a longer piece. Don't try and cut it exact and bear back. Cut off a longer piece and then when you've got the tip exposed, measure that, leave the insulation on, like there, and then uh, trim that off. So with the uh, the tip showing 0.6, I now need 8.6 centimetres of, of coax RG58 with the um, outer cover on, outer jacket, and then uh, a bared off 2.5 centimetres second. So it looked like that, so tip, normal bit of coax, 8.6, bared off 2.5 so this is the start so there you go uh, jack it off uh, now I need to take the braid off without damaging the uh, center insulator so here we are bared off uh, it comes off really easy just be careful with your side cutters and just nip the braid then tidy that up so need a bit of heat shrink on that uh, and then the next thing uh, tin up this braid into a little tab uh, as you can see there uh, that's the uh, single flex that we cut earlier uh, basically, bit of heat shrink on that tip just to protect that, 
as you can see there heat shrink ready on the cable uh, solder that together heat shrink it up and then that's all uh, the top end of the antenna complete so there you go heat shrinked that uh, gap connected the uh, single core element onto the braid and then I'll heat shrink all this up and weatherproof it so there we go the uh, top of the antenna done uh, the uh, gap there is all sealed up as is that joint the top element is now attached to the braid so now uh, we need to go down uh, the RG58 that way towards the roll uh, and we want 126 centimeters measuring from that point there the bottom of this capacitor so 126 centimeters down over and make a cut right so we've got um, two ends of coax now this is the top of the antenna that's the cut we've just made at 126 centimeters down from uh, the bottom of that capacitor so we've got that end and we've also got the end uh, which is still attached to the roll so we need to bear bear these off uh, so we've got a, about a one centimeter uh, piece of inner insulator showing so we'll have a little tab of braid uh, and uh, insulator showing and a tip of core uh, so I'll do that now and show you how that looks so here we go uh, bared these off and uh, soldered them up the braid and the car so that one's the antenna the bit we've just made this is still attached to the reel uh, now uh, we need to uh, bear off the tip of the uh, Westflex 103 which I've put somewhere uh, similar fashion just a short amount uh, and basically we're going to join all these together in a second so uh, I'll just uh, find the, the 103 so this is Westflex 103 uh, I think this is quite difficult to get in the States and outside the UK so uh, you need to look up the specs and find something equivalent uh, on the original uh, video that I provided the link uh, at the start of this one uh, there's some discussion in the comments on, on what options there are to use so this needs to be uh, 71 centimeters long uh, this is a little bit longer to spare piece so I'm going to bear this off uh, and prep it uh, so again I need a just the same as those I need a center and a braid uh, put on that uh, and then we'll we'll show the connection so I'll prepare that next right so that's the 103 bared off uh, there you can see the air the air core spacing solid core uh, I'm just going to uh, solder this so it's ready for connection uh, where we are on the antenna now we've we've done all of this we're down here now so we're going to connect the braids and the cores this is a matching stub uh, that's a wideband capacitor what we did earlier uh, so this uh, there we go 71 centimeters so we're going to uh, have a, a two centimeter gap here uh, and we're going to connect all these together uh, but i'm just going to prep this up and then show you how we do uh, that right so westflex 103 prepped we can trim this off we're going to connect the top part of the antenna we're basically going to connect the core together like that then the other bit of RG58 that runs down to the bottom part of the antenna, we're going to connect that core as well. So we're going to connect the Westflex 103 first to the downward uh, pointing top part of the antenna to make it look like a continuous length like that. So we're going to join three parts together now, uh, three centres, insulate them, and then we join three braids and insulate all that. Uh, so fingers crossed on my soldering. So there you can see we've got the three tips soldered together. The one on the right is the top of the antenna uh, and the West Flex on the left and the RG58 on the left uh, is the bottom of the antenna. So we need to insulate those centers and then connect the braids and then make it all weather tight. So I've soldered the cores. Uh, there's some shrink tube in there and then some electrician's tape. You need to be careful with this joint uh, until it's got the final wraps on. Uh, those RG58 centers are quite vulnerable because they're very small uh, so you don't want to be flexing this a lot or bending it uh, so try and keep this flat uh, and straight while all this is going on uh, it'll get stronger as you wrap it at the end but uh, it's just quite delicate at the moment so now I need to connect all these braids together and there we go we've got the uh, three braids uh, soldered now so all this needs uh, weatherproofing and insulating uh, and then uh, we can 
trim this Westflex 103 uh, to 71 centimeters and then we need to do something with the other end as well which I'll show you in a second so I'll just uh, weatherproof this and, and strengthen it and uh, while I remember before you you bury this in insulation uh, measure from this end this tip here the edge of the Westflex uh, measure 71 centimeters uh, and cut because uh, once this is buried it's going to be hard to find the measuring point so you're looking for the edge of the west flex and then you want a 71 men, uh, 71 centimeter length so i'm going to insulate this now so i've got self amalgamating tape with a, a, a wrap up there as well uh, to stop water ingress i'll put some liquid rubber on as well and finish it off with some good electrician's tape so this is the other end of the west flex 103 um, i've just bared off a tiny bit maybe i could have maybe do a bit more actually you're just trying to fold fold the braid in and get a solder connection uh, if I can focus get a solder connection from the center uh, to the braid it doesn't have to look pretty and you're going to insulate it and weatherproof it anyway so you're just trying to get an electrical connection uh, from the braid to the center and there you go you get the idea uh, just make sure it's got a good connection uh, it doesn't have to be pretty uh, as long as it's connected right so this is where we're up to there's the uh, connection uh, to the top of the antenna uh, the matching stub and the bottom of the antenna and i've just taped those together uh, and there's the end of the matching stub with some uh, self amalgamating tape on so now uh, all we've got to do is add a choke to the end of this cork so still we're still on the reel here um, and uh, what we're going to do is do a measure so that joint that we've just made in theory is about two centimeters uh, which means we've got 2.05 meters to the choke uh, and I know uh, looking on the notes I made nine turns around that type 43 is about 72 centimeters so I need 72 centimeters of RG58 for that you might need well you will need more if you're going around uh, a former for an air choke and then a bit more coax uh, for a tail for a PL259 to connect to. Um, so that gap might not be two centimetres, uh, but the way to, to do this is again from the bottom of the capacitor, lay the antenna out flat, and this is half the antenna, and that's the other half. Uh, so from the bottom of the capacitor is 3.335 metres. So, and we could put a bit of tape on this RG58 to know when we wind the choke, that needs to be at the top. So allowing for a bit of variation in that gap, I'm going to now measure from the bottom of the capacitor again, that gap that we cut, the bottom part, 3.335 3 and make a mark so I know where the choke starts. So there we go, we've got that end weighed down at the capacitor. Uh, we've got this nice and straight and the centre of that tape is 3.335 five so that's where my choke starts right sun's out which makes a nice change uh right so to wind the choke i've, I've got to actually cut the coax now um, so this is the uh, make or break time so i know uh, from last time uh, 72 centimeters gets me around the ferrite and then i need a tail as well so say a meter or so um, so uh, I'll, I'll cut somewhere around about uh, maybe two two and a half meters and then I've got enough tail to attach to the feeder. And then I'll wind the choke and attach the PL259. And then it's a quick test, fingers crossed. Right, so to wind the choke, that this marks the end of the antenna. The choke stops any more RF uh, coming down this end. So we've got nine turns. So uh, I think that's four, uh, one through the center and four back. Uh, so I'll do that now and then show you how that works. And I've cut uh, 2.7 I think it was so I'll have another two meters of lead on the end so there we go um, end of the antenna one turn two three four through the middle five six seven eight nine and exit down to the PL259 so there's our type 43 nine turn choke right so you join me outside in the back garden uh, it's still spring here it's been horribly wet for well months uh, flowers are still looking okay but anyway here we go so just temporarily taped the uh, antenna onto this DX Commander Expedition pole 
So there's the uh, single car, uh, that's where it joins into my brown, if you remember. Uh, and then down, 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 and down. There's the, uh, where it is, there's the way it joins the RG58. And remember there's a tiny little tip showing there. There's the uh, capacitor piece, two, was that 2.6 I think, centimetres. And then down, 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 and down, 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 down. And joins the uh, matching stub. The West Flex 103, which ends there, and then basically down to the bottom, there's the choke, and we've still got a bit of pole left to get it in the air, so we're going to uh, hoist it up and give it a test. Wish me luck. Right, so here we are, we're up on the pole, uh, just a temporary uh, lash up, uh, patch lead, uh, analyzer, uh, power on, here we go, fingers crossed. Uh, 28 down 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 where's that dip there sorry for the glare looking at that needle on the left 28.9, 1.1, so we go down into SSB around this area, 1.2, uh, up to FM, FM calling is there-ish, 1.3, uh, down to, yeah, I think the simplex channels are somewhere around about there. So yeah, how, how good's that? Yeah, that's as, just like the other one. The other one I think was centred bang on 28 and a half. This one's a little bit... Just look about there, about... It's blowing about a bit. About 29. Uh, so if we go down, 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 for anyone who's interested in CB frequencies, uh, change the band. Up, 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 up. Getting there. Uh, where's C? Is 27 something? There you go. Jobs are good. Right, I've got an antenna for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, someone will work me.